Welcome back to Dongit's Mother Eye. The layout currently operates as far as this junction. I've just laid this section of track and it needs wiring up. Each track is a block section, with the outer track heading to the right, the centre track reversible and the inner track heading to the left. Today's job is to wire the outside and the inside track. The centre reversible track is a bit more complicated and I'll get to that one later. Wiring for full block protection requires a different approach to normal DCC layout wiring, and in this video I'll show you how to do it. Every piece of track has a dropper wire. Unlike a normal DCC layout, I don't attach the dropper straight to a single DCC bulb. Each detected block needs its own wire, which will return to a nearby concentration point where the electronics are located. As each block will only have one train on it, the block wires don't need to be as heavy gauge as the main DCC bus. To make trains stop at a consistent location, I switch the ABC on at a set distance from the end of the block. That's this insulating joint here. To achieve this, I need a second block wire and a second current detector. At this location, the current detectors are on the black rail, so I'll be running a second black wire. This will work regardless of where the motor is in the train, provided the lead axle is wired for pickup as the entire block will switch to ABC once the birth track circuit is occupied. As each block needs its own wire, you're going to see a lot of wires where each of the concentration points are. I should really get hold of the label print before I've installed too many of these to figure out where they all go. This section of track needs wires too. An unbroken wire run is good, but I'm not afraid to tee into the side of a block wire if it will reduce the length of wire needed.
each of these dropper connections can be soldered. To stop any accidental shorts, I'm wrapping these joints with electrical tape. I may be using electrical tape, but at least it's colour coded. The right rail in the direction of travel is fed from an ABC module. That happens to be the red wire for these blocks. The wire from the rail with the brake in it, you'll remember that was the black side, will go to the two current detectors. With the wiring done, it's now time to configure the computer. That will have to be in part 2 of this video series, when I've fixed the layout PC.